One Monday, we celebrate our vets, especially the few left in our greatest generation. It's been more than 70 years since the Doolittle Tokyo Raid, a top secret mission during World War II where Lieutenant Colonel Jimmy Doolittle led 80 men to bomb Japan. And tonight, the Doolittle Tokyo Raiders making a final toast to their fallen comrades at the National Museum of the United States Air Force. It was April 18, 1942. 80 men took off from an aircraft carrier on this top secret mission. Today, just four of them remain living. Wale Aliou spoke with a few of them as they shed some light on that mission and said goodbye to their fallen comrades. It's a final toast for some from the greatest generation. Gentlemen. I propose a toast to those we lost on the mission and those who have passed away since. Thank you very much and may they rest in peace. A historic reunion of these surviving members of the Doolittle Tokyo Raiders who fought for our country during World War II. The glasses upside down represent the 76 who are no longer with them. Hundreds celebrated with them and hundreds more lined the museum's entrance as the heroes arrived. The men honored with a wreath lane ceremony and a B-25 aircraft flying over. I feel sort of an obligation. If people want to hear about it, I'll talk about it. Apparently they want to hear about it because... I get a lot of opportunities. <laughs> the Doolittle Raid marked the first use of strategic bombardment by the U.S. Army Air Forces in World War II. We were on our way, and they didn't know it. <laughs> so we got there and we started dropping our bombs before they really realized what was happening. We didn't get shot down or didn't get injured. While the attack itself caused little damage, it was the psychological impact on the Japanese military and the American public that made the attack so memorable. We were in bad shape after Pearl Harbor. The morale of the United States was extremely low, and we couldn't figure out how, any, how we could get back at them. The president wanted something done. And again, that was our Wale Aliu reporting. Amazing stories there. The entire ceremony, Gotta Love Technology, streaming live online for the world to see. And lawmakers trying to get each Doolittle Tokyo Raider awarded with a Congressional Gold Medal.